Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to discuss how to evaluate such type of integral by using Laplace transform. Right? Yes, here we can check that limits of this integration are 0 to infinity. Right? And in Laplace transform, yes, we know what are the limits. Right? Yes, we have this definition of Laplace transform. This is here. This is integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt right this is laplace transform of f of t right when we solve this integral with respect to t we get function of variable s and that we have to call as a laplace transform of this f of t right yes many times this is we denote this is by simply f of s or this is by f bar of s right now yes we can check that here yes to evaluate this integral we have to compare all this integral with this definition of laplace transform right in this integration here we have this term e raised to minus st same here we have this is e raised to minus twice t and so on right here we can check that value of s right this is if we consider this is a yes here we have various values of s right so if we have to put s is equals to a in this definition in this integral so what we have to do yes limit s tends to a for this integral integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t same here this is limit s tends to a of this Laplace right yes when we have to put s is equals to a in this integral yes same here what we have done we have put s is equals to a in this Laplace right so how to evaluate all this integral here yes we have to compare this integral with this definition then we have to find what is f of t and its Laplace right then by comparing this we have to find the value of s and we have to put this value of s in this given Laplace right that gives the required values of this integral yes. So let's understand this procedure by this first example. Yes, now we have to evaluate this integral. So first we arrange this integral with this definition of Laplace. So first we have to write down e raised to minus twice t term, right? And then here we have t sine t, right? Yes. Now by comparing this one here we have e raised to minus twice t this is as e raised to minus st and remaining this is, is f of t right. So we can write this is as a Laplace of t sin t right and what is the value of s here yes s is equals to 2 right that means first we have to find Laplace of t sin t right now yes we know how to find the Laplace of t sin t yes first we have to find Laplace of sin t this is here yes we know that this is 1 upon this is s square plus 1 right and then Laplace of t sin t right yes this is effect of multiplication by t yes what is this effect yes this is we have to take differentiation of this Laplace minus 1 times yes differentiation of this Laplace here this is by effect of multiplication of t right now differentiation of this one this is what this is minus 1 upon this is s square plus 1 it square and s square differentiation this is twice s so here we have this is twice s upon this s square plus 1 it square right so this is the Laplace of t sin t right 
so we got this is function of s right now yes what we have to do yes we want value of this integral integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus twice t t sine t so what we have to do is simply yes we have to put s is equals to 2 in this laplace right so here this is twice s s square plus 1 this is s is equals to 2 here so put the value of s so here we have yes this is here square we have this is 4 upon 4 plus 1 it's square so this is 25 so yes this is the value of this integral right here we have this dt this is we got here 4 upon 25 right so yes we have evaluated this integral by using laplace transform right same let's try another example here now we have to evaluate this integral right now we can compare with this one yes we can check that here we have yes this is the value of f of t right and what is the value of e raised to minus st yes we can write this is here we don't have e raised to minus st right so here we can write this is e raised to 0 t right and this f of t this is as it is right that means yes what we have to do yes we have to find laplace of this is cos of a t minus this cos of b t by t right and we have to put here this s is equals to 0 right yes by comparing this with this definition of laplace right so yes first we have to find laplace of this one right so for this first we need laplace of this cos of a t minus cos of b t right where this a and b these are the constant now what is the laplace of cos yes we know that this is s upon this is s square plus a square right same for this is s upon this s square plus b square right now we have to find the laplace of this one that means we have to apply effect of division by t right so what is the effect of division by t yes we have to take integral of this laplace yes this is within limit s to infinity so this is now yes we have to solve this integral right so how to solve this integral here yes we can check that we can adjust here this formula of integral yes when we have yes this is integration of this is f of x and its derivative here we have yes with respect to x so this is here log of f of x right so here we have adjust here this is 1 by 2 and this 2 here this is integration with respect to s this is the function of s here right so this is here ds so yes what is this integral this is log of s square plus a square minus this log of s square plus b square right and we have to put limit s to infinity right now yes when we put limit here yes s to infinity we get this is log of infinity is here infinity that means this laplace is not get defined this is at infinity that means we have to adjust here so that we don't get this infinity right so for this we have to do this adjustment here yes we have seen how to solve such type of example in last lectures right So yes we know what we have to do here yes 
we have to take this s square this is common here so here we have 1 plus this is a square upon s square and same here if you take this is s square from this one so here we have 1 plus b square upon s square right yes to infinity right so this s square s square get cancelled now we can put limit here when we put limit this is a square upon s square that means we get here constant upon infinity and this is here 0 that means here we get this log of 1 plus 0 same for this is here and when we put s is here at s so we get same 1 plus a square upon s square and this is 1 plus b square upon s square right first we have put s is equals to infinity then s is equals to s right then yes we get here log of 1 and same here if we can do the simplification so here we have s square plus a square this is s square and same here s square plus b square this is s square s square s square get cancelled right and this log of 1 is here 0 right so here we have 1 by 2 minus of this is log of s square plus a square s square plus b square right and here we have this minus sign so we can shift this term so here we have 1 by 2 log of this is s square plus b square s square plus a square right and this is we have find laplace of this is cos of a t minus cos of b t by t right now what we have to do yes we want yes value of this integral integral within limit 0 to infinity this is cos of a t minus cos of b t right divided this t what we have to do yes we have to put here s is equals to 0 right so this laplace this is log of s square plus b square upon this s square plus a square we have to put s is equals to 0 here so when we put s is equals to 0 we get here this is log of this is b square by a square right and this is the required value of this integral right if you want we can simplify this is here again by log rule yes we get here this is log of b by a right and this is the value of this integral right yes right how we have find this value here Yes, first we compare this integral with the definition of Laplace, right? Then we have find what is f of t, we have find its Laplace. And by comparing definition of Laplace, we have find value of s, right? And we have to put value of s here in this Laplace, right? So in the same manner here, we can solve all these examples here. Yes, how to solve this one here? Yes. This is what first we have to find Laplace of this is t into cos of t right and we have to put yes this is s is equals to 3 here right same yes we have solved this one how to solve this is here right first we have to find Laplace of this sine t by t right and after that we have to put s is equals to yes by comparing the def with definition of laplace here we have s is equals to 1 right same yes how to proceed for this one we have to find laplace of sine t by t right and we have to put what is the value of s here yes this is s is equals to 0 yes we can compare this both integral here we have e to minus t right so when we compare this is with this definition here we have s is equals to 1 and for this we have s is equals to 0 right so in this way we have to proceed for evaluation of all these integrals by using laplace transform right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching